Hey, how are you doing today? I hope you're having an awesome day and I hope it's going to be even better for having watched this video. Today is the third day that I'm working on the Fairbairn Sykes knife and the point on which I... The, the... giving up on hand sanding it and going to the belt grinder. I even went all the way back to 120 grit just to thin it all down so that edge was about half the thickness that it was when I, uh, when I did the heat treat. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other piece of Damascus and I'm going to cut it off um, somewhere. Okay, so these two pieces are now ready, the guard and the thing that goes at the back. I still don't know what the name is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and heat treat these now, so I'm going to harden them now. Um, I'm just going to do it with a torch, I'm not going to bother about normalizing cycles with these. And then I'm going to put them in the toaster oven to temper. While that happens, I'm going to then go and do some more work on the knife, hopefully to try and time things a little better. So they are now both in the oven, uh, which is the cheapest oven I could have ever bought. But I do have a pyrometer up there, which means I'm able to monitor the temperature and make sure it's not too hot or too cold. This really is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this. It's very peaceful work and it's, it's nice. I'm enjoying it. So now I've got to work out what I'm going to do here. I'm probably going to go back to that sandpaper and then start putting the, the making, making Going this way with the sandpaper, bring it up to probably 240 grit, make sure it's all nice and neat. Uh, from there, I'll start working on the tang. In fact, when I went to the grinder there and I went back again to, uh, to work this, I was actually able to clean up the plunge lines even cleaner than I had cleaned them up um, by hand a little earlier. So I'm not even going to have to touch the plunge lines, which is a good thing. threaded on that thing that goes on the end. So what I'm definitely going to need is I'm definitely going to need to grind this down, round it off, and then thread the very end. But what I'm also thinking is going to help me a lot is if after the guard, I severely reduce um, the cross section of this handle so I can kind of put it almost straight into a hole. We'll see if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. I'm going to try it though. Okay. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've masking taped this, wanting to make sure that I don't mess any of that up. And then my guard comes out to here. I'm going to cut in with the grinder and I'm going to bring all this down. The, the, the original specifies that it would have been an eighth of an inch round all the way along. I think that's a little excessive in terms of thinness. So I'm going to keep this probably about five mil square at the top and then it's going to go down and right here at the end, I'm gonna make this end portion four millimeters round. I've scribed the four millimeters with the height gauge and uh, that's gonna be round and it should then be able to mean that I can thread it and it'll all go together and fingers crossed. So formerly I bought my ferric chloride at an electronics store here in the UK called Macklin's. Um, it's pretty expensive when you buy it from there though, because you get it by the litre. Uh, this was a, like, this is what, like a five litre thing? And um, I mean, this was just a little bit more expensive than the litre. So I got this on eBay. 
Okay, so we are going in with the two pieces. Now, avec la pièce de résistance. And now we wait. Okay, I'm not going to show you right yet, but I just had a look at it and it is all freaking amazing. <laughs> Okay, so it's now been in here for about 25 minutes or so. I've just eaten some food. And uh, probably every 20 minutes or so, I'm gonna start taking it out of the acid, each piece, and then running down it with a very high grit sandpaper. This is a 1200 grit. Okay, so I've got this thing roughly squared up. This is ebony, right? It's an incredible wood, absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna take my high gauge and I'm gonna find a center so that I can drill. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna give it another polish. Then I'm gonna run to the grinder and I'm gonna put the final edge on it. And then I'm gonna go back in here for probably another five minutes, uh, just so that it all looks pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go back in the acid. Literally just for a few, few minutes there, just to get the etch on the blade. Uh-oh. So there was something attached to that. Phew, this is still attached, not by much. Okay, so in a minute or two, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put it in a solution of water and baking soda to neutralize the acid. And meanwhile, we're going to start working on the handle. centered and for not having a lathe, I think that turned out pretty well. Ebony is this stunning and incredible wood. It's really fun to work. You'll notice the end isn't finished. I'm gonna finish that only when the butt caps are there and, uh, and I think that seems to make the most sense. Right, so now it's time to polish up the rest of the pieces and... Okay, so there it is, polished up. That pattern is really crazy. Got a nice deep etch on it. Everything up the front on this is finished. The back isn't. And what I've just been making sure that everything kind of fits together well. So this, I'll do a little bit of a dry mock-up fit, comes right up to here. Then comes this. Right about there. And then comes this little nut on the end. Now I do need to finish the end, so it's not gonna sit right which is okay. I'm all right with it not sitting right for now. Because I'm now gonna take it to the grinder and I'm gonna finish that up. First though, I'm gonna put just the smallest little bit of tape over on top of that. We're gonna put it together. And I can just say I have actually put it together once while I was looking at it and making sure it's all good. This is un freaking real. Okay, so, step number one. Part number one is the blade itself. Number two, the watchman wants it. Number
coolest thing I have ever made. This has been the craziest, awesome experience ever. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. Thank you so much for watching me make this. To those of you guys that left your comments and suggestions and great advice in the comments, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Making things is freaking amazing. There is nothing better than making stuff because this is something that I'm going to be able to pass on to my kids in the future and say, hey, this is the first dagger I ever made. I am just so thrilled to have made this. I'm even more thrilled to have been able to share it with you. And what a, what a great thing. I, probably in a couple of days, I'm going to do another video, maybe. Um, that's like a recap, so a much shorter video going through the whole process if those of you didn't catch the other ones. However, if you want to see the full process, there are two more videos before this one that show the making of this Fairbairn Sykes fighting knife. Um, it's, it's, it's an incredible knife with an incredible history that I suggest you, you check out. It was used in the Second World War um, quite prolifically. It was a, 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 a very widely used knife in the Second World War. And really, it really just is a great honor to be able to make that here and to be able to call this my own, be able to call this something that I have made. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to watch more videos like this, please do remember, I make a video every single day and I think it'd be fantastic if you were to hit subscribe and of course, if you enjoyed the video as a little token of appreciation, I'd sincerely appreciate you hitting like and Please do go ahead and comment below with your thoughts on the knife, any suggestions, and basically just comment and say hey, because this is, this is a, uh, this is a really good day. Have a fantastic evening. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow.